Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the mechanical fatigue, including vibration-induced fatigue. Description of damage. Fatigue cracking is a mechanical form of degradation that occurs when a component is exposed to cyclical stresses for an extended period, such as from dynamic loading due to vibration, water hammer, or unstable fluid flow, often resulting in sudden, unexpected through wall cracking. These stresses can arise from either mechanical loading or thermal cycling and are typically well below the yield strength of the material. Affected materials All engineering alloys are subject to fatigue cracking. Although the stress levels and number of cycles necessary to cause failure can vary by material critical factors geometry stress level number of cycles and material properties strength hardness microstructure are Predominant factors in Determining the fatigue resistance of a component Design factors Fatigue cracks usually initiate on the surface at notches or stress risers under cyclic loading. For this reason, design of a component is the most important factor in determining a component's resistance to fatigue cracking. Common surface features that can lead to the initiation of fatigue cracks because they act as stress concentrations include keyholes on drive shafts of rotating equipment mechanical notches, sharp corners or groves, well-joint flaws and or mismatches, tool markings, grinding marks, lips on drilled holes, thread root notches, and corrosion. Metallurgical issues and microstructure. Some materials such as titanium, carbon steel, and low alloy steel have an endurance limit. In such cases, the number of cycles to fatigue fracture increases with decreasing stress amplitude until a stress for alloys with endurance limits. There is a correlation between ultimate tensile strength and the minimum stress amplitude necessary to initiate fatigue cracking. The ratio of endurance limit to UTS is typically between 0.4 and 0.5. Three hundred series stainless steel. 400 series stainless steel, aluminum, and most other non-ferrous alloys have a fatigue characteristic that does not exhibit an endurance limit. This means that fatigue fracture can be achieved under cyclic loading eventually. Given enough cycles, regardless of stress amplitude, Maximum cyclic stress amplitude for design is selected by determining T. He cyclic stress necessary to cause fracture. 
in the number of cycles the component needs to withstand in its lifetime. This is typically 10 to the power 6 to 10 to the power 7 cycles. Inclusions and discontinuities found in metal can degrade fatigue resistance and accelerating effect on fatigue cracking. Heat treatment can have an effect on fatigue resistance of a metal. Heat treatments such as quenching and tempering can improve fatigue resistance of carbon and low alloy steels. In general, finer grained microstructures tend to perform better than coarse grained. Affected units or equipment Socket welds and small bore piping At or near pumps and compressors that are not sufficiently gusseted and supported. Small bore bypass lines and flow loops. Around rotating and reciprocating equipment. Small branch connections with unsupported valves or controllers. Safety relief valves are subject to chatter, premature pop-off, fretting and failure to operate properly. High pressure drop control valves and steam reducing stations. Heat exchanger tubes may be susceptible to vortex shedding. Appearance or morphology of damage Damage is usually in the form of a crack emanating from a point of high stress concentration or discontinuity such as thread, a weld, or the corner of a keyway in a shaft. As illustrated in figures. Vibration induced fatigue of a 1 inch. Socket weld flange. In a thermal relief system shortly after startup. Cross-sectional view of the crack in the socket weld in left figure. The signature mark of a fatigue failure is a clamshell type fingerprint that has concentric rings called beach marks emanating from the crack initiation site. As illustrated in figures, features of fatigue fractures, smooth appearance, in certain cases evidence of beach markings, fracture occurs perpendicular to the applied stress. Prevention mitigation for piping and other fixed equipment the best defense against fatigue cracking is good design that helps minimize stress concentration of components that are in cyclic service minimize weld defects as these can accelerate fatigue cracking minimize grinding marks nicks, and gouges on, the surface of components subject to cyclic loading. Use low stress stamps and marking tools. Install gussets or stiffeners on small bore connections, so that they cannot move independently of the larger pipe or other component to which they are connected. Vortex shedding can be minimized at the outlet of control valves and safety valves through proper side branch sizing and flow stabilization techniques.
vibration effects may be shifted when a vibrating section is anchored a sure good fit up and smooth transitions for welds for rotating equipment allow for a generous radius along edges and corners particularly in shaft keyways remove any burrs or lips caused by machining ensure that the metal selected has fatigue life sufficient for its intended cyclic service inspection and monitoring frequent NDE in a focused program aimed at a specific known problem area can be used for finding cracks before failure but this is not normally considered an effective long-term approach to managing the problem PT can be used to detect cracks open to the surface MT including WFMT can be used to detect cracks open to the surface or near the surface angle beam SWUT and PAUT can be used to detect fatigue cracks at known or suspected areas of concern compression wave UT can detect cracking in bolts Vibration monitoring of rotating equipment may provide online detection of conditions that can result in shaft failures due to out-of-balance conditions. Piping oscillation, vibration, or water hammer, especially involving small bore components that are not adequately supported is often visually apparent pipe supports and spring hangers should be checked on a regular schedule audible sounds of vibration emanating from components such as control valves can be an indication of conditions capable of causing fatigue cracks Damaged insulation jacketing may indicate excessive vibration. Related mechanisms to mechanical fatigue, including vibration induced fatigue, are thermal fatigue and corrosion fatigue. Summary Description Fatigue cracking is a mechanical form as the result of dynamic loading often resulting in sudden, unexpected failure. The signature mark of a fatigue failure is a clamshell type fingerprint that has concentric rings called beach marks. Temperature range Service temperature Affected metallurgy. All engineering alloys. Prevention. Design and the use of supports and vibration dampening equipment. Install gussets or stiffeners on small bore connections. Vortex shedding can be minimized at the outlet of control valves and safety valves through proper side branch sizing and flow stabilization techniques. Inspection methods PT, MT, and SWUT can be used to detect fatigue cracks at known areas of stress concentration. VT of small diameter piping to detect oscillation or other cyclical movement that could lead to cracking. Check pipe supports and spring hangers on a regular schedule. Practice time. Question number one. 
mechanical fatigue, including vibration-induced fatigue, failure typical exhibit which type of surface features. Answer is D. Question number two. Which of the material has endurance limit? Answer is D. Question number three. Which of the following is the signature of mechanical fatigue, including vibration-induced fatigue, failure? Answer is D. Question number four. When unsupported branch diameter is three-fourth inch near a compressor, what damage mechanism you suspect? Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.